this video, we're going to talk about how to connect a Macintosh laptop to our Q-Series panel. You can see that I've got my Q-Series at the home screen right here, and I also have a USB Type-C cable, which is the best method. It's the best cable to use to connect a, a Macintosh, in this case I've got a MacBook Air, uh, to this panel because one cable will give you pretty much every, everything you need. You don't need to mess with multiple cables to do this. That's one of the wonderful things about having access to USB Type-C. So you can see that I've got one end of my hand here. I've got the other end already plugged into the panel down here, you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this other end. I'm gonna choose one of the USB Type-C ports on my Mac, it doesn't matter which one. I'm just gonna plug into the one in the, on the left-hand side here. And here's another nice thing that happens. Once I've plugged that in, you can see what the panel just did. It actually automatically chose my Mac as the source. It's one of the great things about this panel is that when you connect a source, it will then automatically, by default, it will automatically then put that source on the screen for you so that you don't have to press any buttons to do that. And so one cable, in this case, is gonna give us video, sound, touch, and in the case of this MacBook Air, it's also gonna give us power because this USB Type-C port right here, the one that we used, this one actually delivers 65 watts of power, uh, which is enough to charge or power this MacBook Air. If you're using a different Mac, there may be different requirements for that, but the good news is video, sound, and touch through USB Type-C, uh, that's definitely gonna, gonna work uh, on other Macs that, are, that have USB Type-C. Um, but the MacBook Air, I know for a fact, uh, can be powered. And we're going to take a closer look at that. Uh, our next video, we're going to take a look at that. We're also going to take a look at how to change the display settings so that you can mirror your Mac screen to the panel. So that will be in our next video.